Hey there, it's Greenwood Carviews. Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be dissipating from reviewing cars and over to doing a new video. It's going to be reviewing, I mean, essentially going over the new future updates that are going on. So let's just get straight into it. Number one for today is going to be the 2016 Honda CRV, LX, EXL, and Touring. Now, the LX and the SE are the same thing, just with different rims, and, and is modeled by Ivy. The Honda 14 CRV will be replaced with a new model. Again, you can see the pictures on screen now. The fictional name will be the 2016 Ellison Hobby. Now, going over to the next one is the 2005 Ford Excursion in six trims, XLT 5.4, XLS 5.4, 6.8, 6.0T, Eddie Bauer 6.8T, 6.8L, 6.0T, Limited 6.0T, Harley Davidson Edition 6.0T, and Celebrity Limo 6.0T. Again, you can see it on screen. Model by Blueza, and the fictional name is going to be the 2005 Falcon Forwardware. Next on the list is a pretty anticipated one, which is the 2021 Audi TT, TT Competition, TTS, TTS Competition, TTRS, and TTRS Heritage Edition. Modeled by Sky. The picture's on screen, and the fictional name is the 2021 Avettismo Tater Tot. The convertible version is coming, and if you can see on the screen right now, they also have uh, sequential taillights, which is really fun. Now, the same thing's gonna be happening with the TT, just with the extra Roadster, so instead of it being the 2021 Avettismo Tater Tot, it will have the same name, just with the word Roadster at the end of it. Next car is going to be the 2006 Lexus GS 470 Base and Sport, modeled by UZ2R1ANA. Fictional name is going to be the 2006 Century Major on screen there. Coming along here, we're going to be skipping the uniform UI. We're going to come back to it. The next car is the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe SE SEL Limited in Calligraphy, and as per is quoted, yes, the hybrids are included. They're modeled by Ivy. The, X, the XRT trim will be available soon. They have not given any details about that currently. The, the fictional name is the 2021 Siscani Rio Grande. I really love how Hyundai has been designing their vehicles. It makes their cars really interesting and stand out from everyone. Next is a 2016 Cadillac ELR with normal trim, a bonus V trim, and a KD line trim modeled by Bluezilla. Fictional name is the 2006 Leland EEL. Pictures on screen there. This is another car that I'm anticipating and wanting to review because it's really interesting to have these as a Hot Wheels car. Next is going to be the 2008 Lexus IS250 rear-wheel drive and IS350 all-wheel drive and IS export. Modeled by the same person before, UZTR1ANA. Fictional name is the 2008 Sendry Active, which is on screen there. Now, scrolling along, we have the 2021 Mazda Mazda 3 sedan. I'm not kidding, that's what it says. 2021 Mazda 3, Mazda 3 sedan, base, Selected, preferred, premium, and turbo. That's modeled by Ivy. The hatchback will be posted soon. They have not released any details on the hatchback yet, but I will update you when they do. Fictional name is the 2021 Makazuki Yushi Sedan. Now, the hatchback, well, the hatchback will be named the same thing, just with the word hatchback at the end of it, most likely. Pictures on there. Now, we're gonna going on to the 2019 Ford Fusion. As you know, the 2019 Ford Fusion is already in the game, but they added actually some new ones, which will be the security, it will be WSP, fire, and it will be an OCSL. So stay tuned for those. So there is no new vehicle, just new versions of it. Next is going to be the 2023 Fisker Ocean. It's going to be refreshed to product spec with four trims, Sport, Ultra, Extreme, and one launch edition, and six wheel options pictures on screen there. It's going to be modeled and refreshed by Bluezilla. Now, the fictional name is going to be the 20 is going to be the 2023 Deja Vu Comet. I really love this car for its roof style. That's really, really interesting. Now, scrolling past that is the 2021 Rolls-Royce Phantom short wheelbase and long wheelbase. The trims are as follows. Base, base two-tone, opulent two-tone silver, opulent two-tone shadow, midnight edition, and clearly the gold edition as in every single Rolls-Royce. It is modeled by Cade, and the fictional name is going to be the 2021 Sir Roger Spirit. So, better have the spirit to cough up that money. <laughs> Next, the 2022 Land Rover Defender. All trims that are in real life are coming into the game. It's going to be modeled by Cade again. And the fictional name is the 2022 Prane Traveler Preserver. See it on the screen there. 
Now, coming along here is a 2004 Infiniti G35 Sport Coupe, completely redone with new model, tune, lights, and sound, now with six trims. Those trims are base, premium, premium aero, both in each of the 2004 pre-lace, pre-face, and the 2006 lift base styles, and four optional rims. Now, the model, the modeler is going to be by Bluezilla, and the fictional name is the 2004 and 2006 Allegran Horizon. So, the 2005 is already in the game, but they're going to add the 2004 and 2006 version. Scrolling down, we have the remodeled 2021 Chrysler 300 Touring, Touring L, 300 SV6, 300 SV8, Copper Edition, and the SRT. The Hellcat and wide body variants will be available later on together with the limo. Now, they have not released a limo yet as of Saturday 15th, 2022, but I will update you on that. Follow the Twitter so you can find out more. Fiction names are going to be the 2021 Chrysler Champion pictures on screen there, as you can see it there. Next, I'm really excited for this one. It's one of my favorite Cadillacs, and I actually did a review on this car in real life. It's the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Base, Sport, and Pinnacle, and the ESV variants are included, modeled by Cade, and the fictional name is the 2020 Leland Volt. I don't like the new version of it, the 2021 version, so I'm very happy that they have the 2020 version available now. <laughs> now, coming along, I'm actually going to skip the other feature. And now we're going to go on to the last vehicle and then we'll go on to the features, which will be the 2006 Chevron Plateau refresh lighting and all new service. So by the time this video comes out, they will already have new lighting, including diesel sounds for the 200, 2000 for the 2500 and other small improvements. More of these light refreshes when the model is up to good and standards will come in the future. It is not just old and ugly outdated grandma, grandpa cars in game that was quoted from Hunter himself. Now. We're gonna be actually talking about one more thing. I have some unreleased cars. It is a 2021 Audi S4 Avant. I meant, or RS actually. Let me refer back to my notes for a quick second. And I'm pretty sure it is this. You can see it on screen now while I'm trying to figure this out. And it is, it is the, yeah, RS4 Avant. Yeah, RS4 event, I was right. So that is going to be that vehicle that you see on the screen. It has not been released at all yet, so there's some sneak peeks that were in the GV chat and also posted from the modeler himself. So I'm very excited to see that and stay tuned on that. I'll keep you up to date on those. I actually had some few other cars that were unreleased, like the Range Rover and the Land Rover, which you can see on screen there. I did take pictures of those, I did find those. I wasn't able to record it and send a new video out, so they're just included here. Now we're going to be going on to the new features that are coming to the game, hopefully. Now they are in there, that does not mean they're going to be published, but it is in there. There is now, first is the new uniform UI that's going to be redone. So as you can see on screen there, now quote from Barkas himself, new uniform UI, the little character on the side will show a preview of each uniform. All uniforms will be done civilian jobs as well. Civilian jobs as well will also get uniforms. So I'm happy that civilian jobs are also getting uniforms. It makes things more formal. As you can see it on screen there. Now, quote from Barkas himself. As you can see the motorcycle thing, this is what it's talking about. Just to be clear, motorcycles still have been planned feature and still planned feature that we'd like to implement into the game into the future. The motorcycle button was just added as a concept to show. Now, one more thing, which I think is going to be pretty, pretty cool. It is new breathing mechanics, actually. So we're going, if you see on screen there, the video that's playing, it says, anyone want to get me a jacket? And what's cool is that particle, so as he said, particle design is not final. It is only like that you can actually see just because it is a demo. So again, stay tuned for that. I really hope it does come. We don't know yet. But if it's in future updates, it hopefully will come. Not always, but hopefully. There have been a lot of cars that are in here that have not been released yet. So again, stay tuned. I'll make another video if it does come out. And that's it for all of the cars and new features that are coming to Greenville. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions or concerns, please go ahead and put in the comments. Or you can DM me privately on Discord. My Discord is going to be tagged on the video here and in the description. And also my Roblox username if you want to friend me or whatever like that. If you want to hop on in a video, DM me and see what happens. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Thank you all for watching and enjoying the video. If you did enjoy, click that like button and subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. So this is Greenwood Car Reviews, and I'm heading out for now. I'll see you later. Bye.